March 20th, 2010. <laughs> 2 p.m. Get out of the question. Uh, what's the question? <laughs> the question is, what do you think you're going to get out of this trip? Where's Malia? I'm going to get a new cultural understanding of the world and hopefully make a new friend. Um, I hope the children are going to get something out of my trip in Peru and that I'm going to help them somehow. Um, like Caroline said, I think that we're going to go, I don't know, I always meet new people. <laughs> Make friends. Um, I think we're going to be able to make a difference, teach them English, bring something over there, share with them, and share their stories with us as well. And I hope that we can help the children have to see that it can have a better future, and that I hope that we as a whole get more of a humbling experience to know that you know that there's a humble problem, <laughs> so we know that, you know we should appreciate what we have here. I'm really excited to practice my Spanish and immerse myself into the Peruvian culture and I'm just really glad I got to shower because we've been showering for like three days. I'm really excited. So I think at this very beginning of our epic journey that we're gonna find some some awesome things there and we're gonna teach some kids how to like write the story about their lives and we're gonna play with them with them and we're gonna make friends and we're gonna buy some cool Peru stuff and um, and we're not gonna get robbed, raped, kidnapped. <laughs> A lot of fun. <laughs> teaching kids for like an hour and a half. How old were they? They were um, like three to five. Um, Qué linda. And their names are all very, like I never heard any of their names. Like They're not common Spanish names mostly. They're also just interesting nicknames for Spanish names. Um, are they different from like American children? Or like, yeah, they are. I feel like they're, they they're have more longer, humble. They have more attention span and they're not hyper. They need attention is they don't get it at home because yeah, they have a lot of you. I asked them how many brothers and sisters they have and like the minimum number was like five. I worked with the moms and like one of them was asking how she sh how she could work abroad to uh -huh. like have more money because they don't have jobs here uh -huh. and they can't work and so if they can't work they can't have money and if they don't have money they can't pay for school for their kids and then their kids have no future so I mean it's just it's just it was so it was so I mean they were just oh they were so cute how like macho their husbands are uh -huh. and how <laughs> and how uh, like like one of the one of the women is like uh, she she has only one kid and she doesn't want to have any more because she's like if I cannot afford like prop, like if I have not if I cannot give them proper life I'm not gonna have any more kids and then we started this conversation like basically we told them uh, in like very nice diplomatic ways to like not have any more kids they have to like uh, talk to their daughters about like how they like make decisions about their body like their husbands are very much they like if you're saying like I don't have any more I don't want to have any more kids they like beat you up and they still like have sex with you like, my cousin's a doctor and she's a female doctor and they're trying to start this campaign in Guatemala where 
it's like woman to woman conversation. Like, you know, maybe you shouldn't be having more kids, and like, mm -hmm. and then the women are like, well, how are we? <laughs> and then the women are like, how are we supposed to like do that? And so they like either give them like contraceptives, like, so they could have, or they could give take them like birth pills without their husband knowing. Right, or they, yeah, or they'll, they'll take like the tea, the tea, whatever thing, the one that goes in your uterus. Like, that's so tough. From your husband, but at yeah. least like you won't have to have any more children. Yeah. And I feel like. I feel like men can just almost leave their children. Like yeah. you were trying to say how many of them have like yeah. our single and they don't mothers. Care, like it seems like they don't care, like they don't care about educating the kids and stuff as much as the moms. Do. Hey, so we're on our way back home. We had a really gay time and we all learned a lot. We made some new friends. I think that our lives were changed for good. So, Julia, yeah, what do you have to say? I think it's a little embarrassing that you're talking to yourself on an airplane. <laughs> but yes, I agree. It was an amazing trip and we're all really tired, but we it's definitely worth it. We have a very long journey ahead of us, but I know that we can do it. We made it onto the airplane, back to the United States. Next step, make it successfully in as citizens and a few people with visas. Alright, we'll touch base later. Peace. <laughs>